Hey guys, Josh here and welcome back to Story of Seasons Pioneers of Olive Town. And recently I've been seeing a lot of questions about draining, especially draining these big ponds. So in this video, we're gonna take a look at this together. So you've probably noticed on your farm, there's two big ponds. So there's one right here in area two and another one right here in area three. And for the longest time, I couldn't figure out how they worked exactly. I was wondering, can you get rid of them? Can you clear the water? Can you, what can you do with them exactly? So we're gonna take a look at that. So if you wanna drain them, the very first thing you have to do is to build some pumps. So you'll get the crafting recipe for the pumps when you reach level five in draining. So I came prepared, I already have quite a few pumps. So then you place them here. The more pumps you use, the faster the process will be. But if you have just one pump, it's gonna work as well. It's just gonna take a bit more time. And then you have to put some coal. As you can see, I don't have a lot of coal. You can find the coal lumps in the second and third mine on the veins, on the walls. And you can also get them from the moles, but they're very hard. So actually the coal is quite hard and rare to get in this game. But yeah, basically you'll be able to change it to coal like this. And then you can just simply fill this up like this. And we are also gonna do the other one. Like this, one, two, three, four. And I'm a little bit lazy to get coal, so let's just go to the general store. So if you've previously sold at least one coal lamp, you'll be able to buy it at any time here in the store. So it's super cheap, super easy, so you don't ever have to go mining for coal anymore. Because it's such a pain to get, and then you can just change it here like this and now let's go fill all of these pumps all right so let's fill these up like this all right so all of my pumps are ready now i'm gonna come back and take a look at this every day all right so this is the one right here and right here it looks like this and this is day two and i'm stuck <laughs> i had to leave my scooter behind but this is what the other pond looks like so this is day three and the first pond is empty. So when it's empty, you'll be able to get the treasure chest and you'll get some bags. So you get these heavy bags. Usually they contain some treasures for the museum and these ones, the dirty ones, uh, usually they don't contain much valuable stuff. And this is pond number two. So I'm thinking tomorrow it should be empty. All right, so it's now day number four. Let's take a look at this pond right here. So it's still empty, but it should start filling back up quite shortly. And this one right here is now empty. So we're gonna get our treasure. And of course the bigger pond gives you some extra rewards. And after you've drained both ponds on your farm, you'll get access to this area, which is an even bigger pond. So let's start working on this one. All right, so everything is now set up. So we're gonna come back here and check on it every day. All right, so it's now day five and this pond is still not filling up. Same for this one. And this one started emptying. Okay, day number six, let's check our pond. So this one started to fill back up. This one is still empty. And this one is still draining. So it's now day seven. I hope this video doesn't turn out too weird with all the cuts every day. I just really want everybody to see all the steps and how many days it takes for everything. But yeah, as you can see, this one is starting to fill back up. I think tomorrow it should be back. And this one right here started to fill just today. And this big one, I think in maybe two days or maybe tomorrow, if we're lucky, is gonna be empty. It's now day number eight and our first pond is full. And as you can see, the water is blue and clear. So it is different from how it was at the beginning. And when the water is like this, you can actually use it to refill your watering can, which we were not able to do before. So you can do that. And this one right here is not quite half full. And this one still has a little bit more to go. Day number nine, there's no change for this one. And this one still needs a bit more time. And our giant pond is now empty. And as you can see, we have a beautiful floating chest and you get these shiny bags. So in these ones, you have a high chance of getting a quite rare treasure. So I'm just gonna make some extra space in my bags and let's take these bags. All right, so I'm now at the museum to get all of my bags appraised and see if all the hard work was worth it. This is gonna take a little while, so I'll see you in a few minutes. Yeah. 
Yeah, so I've just got everything appraised by Reina and I've got one Orichalcon in gut, which I'm very, very happy about. And I've got this old book, I've got this little figurine, this, this old map, this golden horn, a few medals, some ingots, and two shiny watch, which I think are very good gifts for some of the villagers and a glass shoe. So uh, let's give these to the museum. Day number 10, no change here. And this one is full again. Day 11, no change here, no change there. And this one is still empty and I think I forgot to check this one on day 10 but it would have been the same thing. So far they've all been empty for two days so I'm thinking this one should probably start filling back up tomorrow. Alright so this is day number 12 and still no change here. Same thing here. And this one's starting to fill back up. So it's day 13 still no change here and no change there. And this one is like this. Day 14. 14 14 day 15 and as you can see we came back full circle so some people were wondering does the water stay clean after this can you remove the lake the answer is no and no so after a few days as you can see the water will get dirty again and the pumps will start working again and you will have to remove the water and you'll get the treasures and it's just the same thing over and over again so you can no longer use it to refill your watering can unfortunately but yeah that's just how the ponds work so over and over again uh, so it is definitely a good way if you want to complete your museum to always have your pumps running and these ponds emptying themselves but uh, yeah if you were hoping <laughs> to remove them it is not possible also let's check this one so it's still clear should take a few days and you can also put pumps here like this i'm not sure what's the point because just with the time you take to put down the pumps and put the coal and then after that you're gonna have to take out the pumps and everything and i don't know i feel like it would just be so much faster to just do it with the bucket but we're gonna come back tomorrow and see how all that goes by the way your draining skills will go up when you use the pumps and this one looks like this. All right, so we're now on day 16. Of course, this one is empty right here. And I'm curious to see what happens if you hit the pond with the hammer, if the pump is gonna remove itself automatically or... I wonder what's gonna happen to the pump. Oh, and it just stays like this. Hmm, that's interesting actually. You know what, I kind of want to leave it there and see what happens, see if tomorrow it's still going to be there. Hmm, that's interesting actually. And this one is like this. And our giant pond is full. Is it full? I'm not too sure actually. Uh, but this is what it looks like on day 16. I think it's full. Day 17, so of course our little pump still here. And this one is, oh, I thought it was dirty, but it's uh, just clear. And this one, yeah, it's still full and clear. It's now day 18 and this one is back to being dirty again. And this one is still like this. Day 19, day 20, 21. <laughs> We're now in spring, by the way. This is taking way longer than I expected. Day 22, day 23. Day 24 and there you have it guys, so that's how the ponds work in Story of Seasons, Pioneers of Olive Town. I was just getting so many questions about these so I wanted to make a video so now we know exactly how many days it takes to drain each pond uh, with a full capacity of pumps, how many days it takes to fill them up and then how many days does it take to get dirty again. And just to confirm that no, there's no way to keep the water clear and there's no way to just remove the ponds. So there you have it. I'll probably put a chart right here if you are interested in this information. But yeah, that's gonna be pretty much it for me today. Let me know what you think. If this was helpful to you in any way, feel free to leave a like and subscribe if you'd like to see more Story of Seasons content like this. And I'm gonna see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.